Hello and welcome to the episode 307 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Among other things, today we'll see how the Beatles performed during several live gigs, started and completed Michelle in just one session, and completed the filming of Magical Mystery Tour for the third time. This time is for real, said Little Nicola. On the 3rd of November 1960, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, kept on performing at the Kaiser Keller in Hamburg, West Germany, alternating on the stage with Rory Storm and the Hurricanes. One year later, in 1961, still featuring Pete Best on drums, but now with Paul McCartney on bass, the lads performed a lunchtime concert at a cavern club in Liverpool, their 50th. In 1962, the Beatles, now with Ringo Starr on drums, performed at the Star Club in Hamburg, West Germany, alone and backing Little Richard. On this date in 1963, the Beatles continued their autumn tour at the Odeon Cinema in Leeds. I, instead, will continue to create music-related content, and I will be able to do so more fruitfully if you give me a hand. How? Why, find that out by visiting www.simonmas.com support at the end of the episode. The link is in the description. On the 3rd of November 1965, at the EMI Studios in Abbey Road, the Beatles started and completed Michelle, a song written some time before by McCartney, starting from 2.30 pm and ending up with a complete track by 11.30 pm. The first part of the session, up to 7 pm, saw the band rehearsing the material and then recording the rhythm track in just one take, with Paul McCartney and George Harrison on acoustic guitars and Ringo Starr on drums. From 7 pm, instead, the Beatles worked on the overdubs, with John Lennon adding two more acoustic guitar parts, Paul recording bass and George performing a guitar solo. After that, Paul, George and John recorded all the vocals needed to complete the song. Finally, on this date in 1967, the filming of Magical Mystery Tour was finally concluded with some sequences to be edited into the Blue Jay Way scene. All the filming was made at Ringo Starr's country house in Weybridge, 19 miles from London. The main sequences featured each Beatle playing a white cello in Ringo's backyard. Then, George Harrison was filmed walking down some steps in the garden. Then, the white cello was filmed in front of some fireworks. This took care of the extra cello part added to the song after the main Blue Jay Way scene had been filmed in September. After that, it was the turn of some children playing in the garden, and then the production moved inside for another two sequences. In one, the available Blue Jay Way footage was projected onto Beatles' assistant Mal Evans's bare chest. In the other, the same footage was projected onto a white screen, with each Beatle watching. Tomorrow we'll further explore the Beatles' work in studio with a couple of sessions. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas! Music you love